Let's make regatta pancakes. Yeah, you heard me. Cheese in the pancakes. If you're like me, then you're constantly searching for new ways to incorporate cheese into every meal, so this one's for you. We're going to start with a half a cup of my strange regatta. You can get this recipe on the channel. I'll put the link in the description below. A half a cup of sour cream, and we're going to need two egg yolks. We're actually going to use both the yolk and the white, so once separated, reserve your whites to the side for later use. Mix all these ingredients together. Once homogenous, we're going to hold them off to the side and move on back to those whites. Now, for the egg whites, there's only two, so just man up and do it by hand. It will literally take you four minutes. While you watch this handsome guy patiently whisk away here, here are some whipping tips for future use. Egg whites will never whip if there is fat present. Whether that's a dirty bowl or yolks that accidentally broke, the whites will never get to where you want them to be. Always use clean utensils, and room temperature eggs actually work best for this sort of thing. They also say whipping in a left to right motion over whipping in little circles or clockwise motion will keep you from getting tired faster, but however you gotta move to keep it going, you do you, big guy. Okay, when the whites are barely holding shape but still appear fluffy, then we are right where we wanna be. This is called soft peaks. In a separate bowl, we're gonna add two third cup of AP flour, one tablespoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and just a pinch of salt. We're gonna add these ingredients to the cheese and yolk mixture that we already have. Once this is homogenous, we can bring everything together. When adding the whites to the thick cheese and flour mix, we want to do this in stages. We just spent all this time getting our whites fluffy that we don't want to deflate these by aggressively mixing it into a mixture that has a very different consistency. So we need to temper the two textures together. Sacrifice about a quarter of the white mix to the cheese mix and mix until the whites become one with the mix. Say mix one more time, dude. I know. Yes, they will deflate a bit here, but it will make the consistency of our batter more receptible to the rest of the whites. Once this is well blended, we can slowly fold the rest of the whites into the mix. Using a spatula and the sides of the bowl, rotate the bowl while moving the batter towards you to slowly and gently fold these ingredients together. Once fully combined, we need to let the baking soda now activate with the wet ingredients. Set your watch or a timer to five minutes and allow the baking soda some time to activate. Now ideally the baking soda should get more time, but we're being conscious of the whites we just whipped so as they don't deflate or lose their volume. For the cooking process, I like to use cast iron, but really any skillet will do. Start with half a tablespoon of butter on medium and get the butter melted. Slightly browned is okay, but if it starts browning before all the butter is melted, then your pan is too hot. Next, ladle a generous amount of batter into the pan and slowly spread it around so that it is even and not too high. The cakes won't cook properly if there is too much batter layered on top of it. Allow this to cook on medium heat for about a minute or a half or so. Normal pancakes usually start bubbling around the outside when they're ready. We're not going to get that as much with these guys, so just keep a close eye on the bottom to ensure that they don't burn and watch the texture of the cake slowly stiffen as it cooks. Then flip the pancake over gently and allow to cook for about another one and a half to two minutes. This is my favorite part as you can physically see the egg whites and baking soda do their thing and raise this pancake in thickness, making it ever so fluffy. Look at that lift that we're already starting to get. We're getting a nice foot around the bottom. Great texture is occurring here. This is just where we want to be. All right, one more time. Hot grease pan, add your batter, flatten it out evenly, and allow it to cook for about a minute or so. Once the bottom has a nice little crust and the batter is starting to stiffen a little bit as it cooks, we can give it a nice flip and allow it to cook for another two minutes. In this beautiful time lapse, you can physically see in just 60 seconds, this pancake gets beautiful volume and lift due to that baking soda and the egg whites. To finish these guys off, I wanna keep things super simple. We just had so much patience in making these so fluffy, I don't really wanna crowd the palate with anything crazy. So no Aunt Jemima, maple syrup, fruit curds or preserves or anything like that. We're just gonna use some nice local honey, some freshly grated lemon zest for some tartness, 
Then we're gonna actually contrast that with some freshly grated orange zest for some sweetness and brightness. And then for even more contrast, just a little bit of toasted salted Sicilian pistachios to finish it all off. Guys, 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 these are incredible. Look at these. Have you ever seen pancakes like this? Look at the height that we're getting on these. Have you ever seen fluffy pancakes like this? If you own a cafe, put these on the menu tomorrow. If you don't own a cafe and you just want more friends, make a video of you making this, put it on the internet and watch how many people gawk at you. Trust me, I literally do it every single week. These are special. Make these and you'll get superpowers. I'm kidding, you won't get superpowers, but you will be forever happy, I promise. Till next time.